Question 5. Compound W has a molecular formula C4H10O. It contains only one functional group. Part A. Table 5.1 shows two peaks with the greatest m over e value in the mass spectrum of W. Because it's telling us greatest m over e value, so the highest mass it must be m plus 1, and the second highest is m. Why? Because their mass or the m over e now different uh, by 1. So we are quite sure uh, this one is m plus 1 and 74 is m plus molecular ion. And the relative abundance for the m plus is uh, 50. m plus 1 is uh, x. This one we need to find. Okay, part 1. Calculates the relative abundance of the peak at m over e equal to 75. This one. Um, first, you need to use the, this equation. N, which is the carbon number, equal to 100 over 1.1 times relative abundance of m plus 1 over m. So this one, no choice. Uh, you must remember. Uh, and uh, roughly, I tell you uh, why uh, we use hundreds and 1.1. Hundreds is the relative abundance uh, of the carbon shaft. 1.1 is the relative abundance of carbon-13. It's actually a comparison between the carbon shaft and carbon-13. So um, after that, you just need to substitute the uh, values. So N is uh, 4. Why is 4? Because uh, in this uh, initial uh, statement already told us, C4 means 4 carbon. So you just need to put 4 here. Equal to hundreds over 1.1 times relative abundance of m plus 1, which is x now, over relative abundance of m, which is 50. Right. Okay, rearrange, you get 2.2. Right. So that's the relative abundance of the uh, this uh, m over e uh, 75, which is the m plus 1. Um, Okay, so now um, let's move on to the part two, which is more challenging. The mass spectrum of the W also shows the peaks at m over e 29 and m over e 59. Suggest the molecular formula for these fragments. Uh, this question is quite challenging, especially for the 59. Um, for the m over e 29 is quite straightforward. Um, so it's actually the C2H5. So because uh, here, right, so if you sum it up, uh, it's uh, 24 plus 5. So it's an ethyl, ethyl group here. right? So this one is very straightforward. Uh, I don't think we need to really spend time on this. Um, for the 59, uh, so if you want to know uh, how to get this C3H7O positive, uh, first, let's refer back to this uh, molecular formula because it's given C4H10O and the relative molecular mass is 74 uh, and this is the uh, highest mass it should be. Right. So means the fragments that produce, it cannot larger than this value and it's only 59 now. Uh, let's use the carbon and hydrogens only let's say we use here huh? this one if we use c4h10 we only can get 58 this is the the mass m over e value so means it's not going to be c4h10 therefore we must involve or include the oxygen so if we include oxygen, we cannot use four carbon. We must remove one carbon. So let's make it C3H10O positive. But this one also uh, is actually uh, impossible to form. It means there is no such a structure. But uh, it's just the intermediate that uh, for the... Uh, 
before we reach the final answer. If let's say now we add one oxygen and reduce one carbon, the M over E value now is 62, which is larger than 59. So now it's very easy. In order to achieve 59, from 62 to 59, it's just minus 3, right? So we just minus 3 hydrogens here. Then it becomes C3H7O positive. That's how you get it. You no need to know the structure. You just need to base on the, the M over E value, deduce how many atoms that it should be. Part B. A sample of W is heated under reflux with excess acidified potassium dichromate until no further reaction. Only one organic product X is present at the end of the reaction. Okay, w, uh, for this figure 5.1, show the IR of W. So from this IR spectrum, very clear that this A, this one, is the OH group, hydroxyl group. So why? Because it's around 3,200, uh, 300 something, right? So, and it's a broad absorption here. So we are quite sure this part, this one, this functional group is the hydroxyl group. Means, means W is actually alcohol. This is quite sure. Now, for the X, after reaction, the alcohol groups disappear. There is no broad peak here, gone. And after reaction, means the X, now is showing the very, very strong absorptions here, around 1,700 okay, per cm, or the wave number. So this one is showing that is the carbonyl. It's a carbonyl. If you check the table, so you should know it's a carbonyl. So around 1,700 something. And just now, if you want to find the hydrox, uh, hydroxyl group, so it's this one, right? So it's uh, around 3,200 something to 3,650. Okay, so um, now part one, absorption A shown in the figure 5.1. So you just need to put uh, A is uh, OH bond, uh, OH bond, OH bond. Um, so the functional group containing the bond uh, in the table is hydroxy. Uh, so you, and uh, in the mark scheme is actually hydroxyl. Um, Functional groups uh, for the OH, um, normally we put hydroxyl. Uh, you can just follow the table, doesn't matter, it's okay. Right. So um, for the B, uh, it's a carbonyl. So you just follow this, uh, carbonyl, bond is CO double bond, right? Bond is CO double bond, is carbonyl. For part two, Use the information in A and part B1. Draw the structure of X in the box. Um, again, um, if we compare the W, which is the alcohol, and the X is the is a have carbonyl, uh, it's obviously is telling us it's a ketone. It's a ketone, right? So now. If let's say now we know that the W is the alcohol which has this structure. Okay, so many of you might ask why it must be a ketone? Means why X must be a ketone? Um, because when the W, if let's say W is the primary alcohol, 
So primary alcohol after uh, is react with the potassium dichromate in excess, uh, it will form the carboxylic acid. So we are quite sure that blue is not going to be uh, the primary alcohol. The blue must be secondary alcohol. When the secondary alcohol reacts or is oxidized, it will form ketone. So we are quite sure the W, this compound, it must be secondary alcohol like this, this one. So it means the OH, it cannot be here, the first carbon. It must be second carbon. If this secondary alcohol now is undergo oxidation, this hydrogen is gone, this hydrogen is gone, it will form this, it will form this ketone. So after this secondary alcohol being oxidized by potassium dichromate, okay, it will form this ketone. Right, so you form this uh, butane two, uh, non. Okay, means this is the X that will be formed. Okay, I hope you understand what I say. Why it cannot be uh, this uh, primary alcohol? Why it must be secondary? Okay, because in the X again, uh, in the X is only show the carbonyl without the broad absorptions here. It's not a carboxylic acid, so it's, it's a ketone, right? Okay, therefore, now the X, only one answer. Okay, you can give the skeleton or you can give this structure, right? Part C. Why is a structural isomer of W? Uh, means why is also... Uh, the alcohol related compound might be uh, why because uh, both W and Y produce colorless bubbles when sodium added so this one it let us know that Y is actually alcohol because alcohol with sodium will form hydrogen gas Y does not react with the potassium dichromate if Y is alcohol and not react with oxidizing agent means it cannot be oxidized we know that why is the tertiary alcohol okay why does not react when warm with alkaline uh, uh, iodine means it's no methyl ketone or it doesn't have this uh, this group this alcohol group because when this hydrogen and this hydrogen is removed it will form methyl ketone, right? So means it's telling us the compound Y don't have this one. Okay, part one. Name the functional group present in Y. Okay, of course it's hydroxyl. Because here I already told you. Complete the equations to describe reactions uh, of W or Y with sodium. Very easy. Um, because uh, it's OH group, OH must form O and A. Means uh, the hydrogens replaced by the sodium. So what you need to do is you just need to remove one hydrogen here. Remove one, neck, minus one, become nine. And you put sodium at the back. Right, so and of course plus half H2. So this is the reactions between the sodium and alcohol. So you just balance it here. You put one, one, right? To put this uh, sodium alkoxide and the uh, hydrogen. So after that, you just need to draw the structure of Y because already uh, telling us Y is tertiary alcohol. So you need to draw the tertiary alcohol. That's the only structure, right? The carbon with OH now with three alkyl group or three methyl group or you can give this skeleton formula okay that's all thank you